Hey you guys, Dirt Fiddle, I'm the most targeted citizen. I've got one of my subscribers on this channel, and uh, he used to be pretty cordial the past year or so. He was cordial. And then I noticed he started being argumentative with his comments. And then I find him commenting on uh, one of the trolls that likes to attack my channel, and it was no longer being just argumentative, but him going to troll channels and attacking me. Now, treated me like he's actually interested in my comment section, but going somewhere else and just thrashing me. So, I made a video the other day about the balloon that flew over America and talked about directed energy weapons. Well, he listed this whole long novel, and the whole novel was nothing but CNN talking points. How aluminum airplanes can take down buildings. The jackass doesn't know that jet fuel burns up within seconds. And it only gets to be the flash of jet fuel. It can only be maybe 1500 degrees. Well, that's not going to melt steel and concrete. But he listed this whole thing about... I, I should probably read it, but he said, there's no such thing as an EMP that's going to take out the world and ain't nobody going to die. Well, I want you to know, this just pops up in my news feed, and it's from Facts Matter with Roman Bal Balmakov. I haven't even seen this, haven't even viewed it. It would have a red line through it if I did, but it says, what? It says, 90% of U.S. would die from a Chinese EMT attack from space. 90% of the U.S. would die from a Chinese EMP attack from space. This is true. This was happened. Um, anyone that believes the narrative of 9-11, you're just dumb. You're stupid. My friend flies for American Airlines. The big, huge, what, 757, 767? He flies those. It's the t it, it is impossible for... A supposed 747 or 757 to hit the Pentagon like it did. You mean to tell me one of the most surveilled buildings, if not the very most surveilled building in the entire planet, and only one camera was working? Really? You, you want to believe that? You, you want to believe that buildings that were with, were built to withstand airplanes and jets hitting them, two of them fall, and then a the third one falls that didn't even get hit? You want to believe that? The whole paragraph of the trash that he wrote, literally, I can imagine Don Lamont for CNN. You know, the, the, the black queer guy who dates a white man and goes out and sexually abuses other white men in public, him. It's almost like I can hear it coming out of his mouth. All the stupid talking points. It's just, it's remarkable to me how people can literally open their mouth and deep throat what CNN tells them. How many times has CNN been wrong the last 10 years and these people still gobble it down their throats? And and the funniest part is when it's, when oh, it's a conspiracy theory, they talk about it being a conspiracy theory after it's already been tr proven true. Just like with Vietnam, the Gulf of the Gulf of Tonkin, they faked a boat, a, a United States military boat being sank, just to get us to go to war with Vietnam. They faked it. It was all fake. It was all a ruse. Just like every war this country's been in, it was all predetermined. It was all it was all planned out. It was planned to happen. It wasn't about, oh, God, we, we had no choice. We, we just had to go to war. We had no other choice. No, it was all planned. You think World War II and Pearl Harbor, you think Pearl Harbor was an accident? You tell me what great military mind, what great military mind would put every one of all of our naval ships in one place closest to Japan, our enemy in World War II? And here's something I, I've been wanting to tell you guys. This is the Roku app. You look, you see anything on this Roku? Doesn't it look like it's apocalyptic? 
I always wanted to uh, let you guys see this. So we got here, we got volcanoes blowing up. That talks about that in the Bible. And then look, you've got a robot right here destroying the city. And we got a huge blimp. What was that, a big balloon that came over yesterday the size of three school buses? A big blimp right there. See it? And then look, we've got light coming from what? What's that supposed to be significant of the Empire State Building? The light, remember, Satanists claim that Satan is the god of light, remember, because he was struck down from heaven like a bolt of lightning. And then you get a little bit more imagery. Here's a here's a submarine in the harbor of, this is supposed to be like America. Here's a submarine in the harbor. Why would a submarine be in the harbor? Hmm. And then you got what? Jupiter on top of this right here. Now we know that they worship planets like Jupiter. And here's a lizard. A big statue of a lizard. Hmm, reptilians, anyone? And then we have this giant monster here. It's coming out from the ground. See, people don't, you don't see this stuff, and it's in your face every day. It's all apocalyptic. Every bit of it. This is all pretty much they're talking. This is end times that they're showing you. Look, at here's a Seattle Space Needle there. And there's another big critter. I guess it's supposed to be what, King Kong on top of that building? Weird, huh? And look, there's nobody here. Nobody in any of these buildings. No humans around at all. But look, then we got aliens. What's that supposed to be? Big Ben? Aliens are striking, have light coming down on Big Ben. And then look over here. All these ships that are in the ocean, these yachts, ocean liners, are being sunk. Something's in the water dragging them down. But free movies and TV. Keep watching. You're going to see more. Look, now it gets back around to here. To the volcano blowing up. And when you see it, when it goes through again, it's going to show sea monsters from underneath the ground pulling down and pulling ships. Yeah, that's on there too. Apocalypse. I'm, I'm probably going to do a video tomorrow. And read this whole comment. You can see it's it's from Mr. Steve. He commented on my video the other day about um oh, I can't even remember it now. But it's such a it's just a it's just a load of crap. Every bit of it was CNN talking points of sheer stupidity. See the funny thing about it is is everything that I say, I can prove it. I can go back. You can look at the at the the people that's been studied. There are hundreds of thousands of scientists who have debunked 9/11 down to a T. Did you know that on 9/11, that was the first time since black boxes have been in airplanes that no black boxes were recovered. Did you know that? I bet you didn't know that, did you? That's the first time ever. There's a lot of anomalies like on 9-11 that day. I'll tell you this from experience dealing with this technology. Airplanes didn't hit the buildings on 9-11 at all. Everyone with any common sense will tell you uh, that was explosions because everybody don't, don't, there that day heard explosions on the news. It said explosions brought the buildings down. The, the buildings were, uh, I don't know, the guy who owns it is this big Jew mafia guy from Israel, and he put like a $2 trillion insurance policy on it. He had to remove all the asbestos in the building, and he didn't want to pay for that. So what did he do instead? Instead, he, they are all arranged for it to be blown up. And on 9-10, the day before 9-11, Donald Rumsfeld comes on national TV and says, I don't know, $2.3 trillion disappeared from the, from the Defense Department. Hmm. Where did $2.3 trillion, but guess what? Nobody asked any questions on 9-11, did they? Oh, and where the airplane, the jet supposedly hit 9-11, the Pentagon, well, it was it was a missile, it wasn't a jet, but where, where the jet hit the Pentagon, that was the exact same office that 
held the records of the $2.3 trillion. And did you know all the employees that came out of the Pentagon who went on national TV and said, oh, yes, it was an explosion. A bomb went off in the Pentagon. We heard it. We heard it. All the people that went on national TV and even the firemen that talked about the World Trade Center when it got hit, every person that went on TV and said it was an explosion, that bombs went off, they all died mysterious deaths within months of 9-11 happening. Let's not talk about Halliburton. You know, the, 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 the company, the construction company that Cheney was president of before he came to the White House and how they got no compete clause contracts to rebuild Iraq and Afghanistan after our military paid to blow them up. Hmm. I just don't know how somebody, how, how people can choose to live in their stupidity and yet they come to my channel and comment to me about, oh, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about at all. I would gladly stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any of these dimwits and go point by point by point. And we can have somebody on the side with a computer, kind of like people do with these podcasts. Look this up. Look that up. Look this up. Look that up. And we could prove everything I'm telling you. Just like the technology I tell you has been used on me, I've shown you literal patents for the technology. I've shown you declassified documents where it's being used. It's just like right now if I say, you know, they have a heart attack gun. These, these, these dimwits will say there's no such thing as a heart attack gun but guess what i could do i could go to c-span where it was a a it was congress they were having a meeting in congress and the guy said yes here's the heart attack gun see what it looks like this is it have you have people been killed with that gun uh well we'll have to discuss that in a classified session i show you the guy who who invented one of the Voice of God weapons would it's on my channel right now. And then people say, well, that, you guys got to be crazy to believe him. While on the video, he's literally demonstrating it. Oh, yeah, oh, that man thinks he can do that. The same with these idiots who say, the government can't control the weather, yet they've been doing it since the 50s. Look, well, there's no proof the government controls the weather. John Brennan even said it on national TV. You remember John Brennan? The head of the CIA, he said on national TV, uh, yes, we, we're, we're using chemtrails and we're using heart to geoengineer the planet and we're using it for weather modification. Oh, you're crazy. That's not happening. There's the sea monster right there. See? Yeah. But what I know, I'm just a crazy guy on this couch. I gets terrorized every day. Anyway, join your apocalypse. Enjoy it. And no greater, no truer statement's ever been said than this. Ignorance is bliss.